welcome back everyone today we are going to talk about domestication of plants so what we do in domestication is we grow them from the seed we put the seed right there and they grow up and we can take the produce home right so this all all the plants you see here are domesticated plants you you won't see any wild plants right here because this is a domesticated plant center as obviously you can say and also these plants right here were not as the way it is in nature right because for a long time we humans have been on this earth modifying things hmm? these are the mosmi plants right so you eat them right the uh, they are like orange but a little sour and this is my uh, grandfather and this plantation is his this is the plant of kabrak okay so this is what we call kabrak and you can see in the distance that this place is filled and teeming with life of birds and you can see some peacocks here so the topic is today the domestication of plants we see around us so these plants were not the way they are in nature this is an artificial nature created by humans right because of thousands of years of cherry picking we have picked the best plants for example if you have two things like if uh, one of the things is bigger than the other we are going to show the uh, seeds of the bigger thing. This is a pomelo plant. This is a pomelo plant. You see the size of the fruit right there? <laughs> That's huge. So, these... Guava plant. A guava plant. You might not see guavas right now, but... Hmm. These. So these are the like they have just reproduced it's in a flowering stage right now as my grandfather has said and soon we will have producing this this is a guava plant remember this one right here so the biggest we can get is the best we can get so that's how domestication works we are seeing small guavas from the plant. Yes. We are seeing also not. Yes, we can huh? see that. There are the guavas. You can see that. So, this is sort of a tour as well as an education. It's a red guava. Red guava. About it. It's a red this guava. is red guava. You might have seen them, the red guavas. The plant is this red. is the plant. Fruit is red, red from outside, hmm. red from inside, hmm. leaves are red, all thing is red of this plant. <laughs> so this is the red guava plant, another morph of the guava plant. So there you can see some fruits as well. The variety of this very guava, the variety of this very guava you are seeing hmm. is L49. L49. Lucknow Unanchar. Hmm. It is called Lucknow Unachar, 1249. Hmm. Yes. So these are the varieties of guavas found the, here. The, the, these plants, these two plants are of variety of Lucknow Safeda. Hmm. And, and so that's also, Lucknow Safeda. Also some plants are flowers. So we have a lot of variety here. So we have a lot of pretty. Mo mosmi plant. A mosmi plant. Here you have some more of those mosmies. I don't know what they call it in English. Uh, uh, just search Google, okay? So, this is what we mean by domestication. We domesticate so many plants and we domesticate the best of them. That's why we have so many different varieties of plants, as my grandfather has just told you. And that variety is awesome. Because, well, that's the question you have today. Why? Is there such a variety of plants? Leave your answers in the comment section below and I will be answering you the next time.
बाय बाय आपको कुछ कहना है लास्ट में व्हाट आई टू से दीज ऑल द प्लांट्स आर ऑफ मतलब दे आर इनसाइड मौसमी प्लांट्स एंड आमला प्लांट्स दे आर आर सो मेनी वैरायटी इन साइट्रस एंड गावा देयर आर अबाउट 13 वैरायटीज इन गावा एंड साइट्रस वी हैव सो मेनी वैरायटी ऑफ लाइम गार्डन It this garden belongs to man. No, no. I'm I'm here many years. No, no, no. This garden belongs to him, and that's the truth. He's just joking. Shall <laughs> I? Yes. Is there any more of what I have?